Today I'm looking at number bonds to 20. So to do that I've got two lots of building blocks worth 10 each, so two tens making a 20. Before I get to the worksheet I can use these to help look at the different ways that I can break up 20, counting the parts to find the different values. Then when I'm ready I can take the sheet, I know I've got my 20, I've counted and checked, and then I can take off the different values and then count the remaining part to find, of course, that that should be worth 12. Moving on to the second sheet, we can see things get a bit trickier. We don't know the value of one of the parts, but we do know that this top bar is worth 20, which means these two pieces together must also be worth 20 because they're the same size. We also know that this piece is bigger than this piece, so it must be worth more. Then, on the final page, it gets a little trickier still, but we're still working on bonds to 20. So what plausible answers will fit? If the top bar is worth 20, how much will these two parts be worth?